So I recently did an experiment in a video uh, showcasing the $75 Apple fast charger that everybody's talking about on the internet versus the included charger on the iPhone 8 Plus. If you wanna check that out, you can click the link below, but regardless of what happened, that fast charger is still $75. Now, a bunch of you commented on that video and mentioned the old iPad charger trick that used to work all the way back with the iPhone 6. Essentially, these phones can all support a form of fast charging, maybe not as fast as the one in the new phones now, but back then if you plugged in your iPad charger to the iPhone 6 or 6S or 7, etc., cetera, uh, you'd still get a faster charge. So of course, that got me wondering, is the new fast charging that much faster than the iPad fast charging that we were using before? Let's find out. First up though, real fast, I have to give a shout out to eBeam Smart Marker for sponsoring this video. If you didn't get a chance to see the video I did on this Smart Marker, you can check that out below. But essentially, it's a product that allows you to automatically digitize anything that you write on a whiteboard. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, but if you wanna check it out, click the link below and you can even use the coupon code below as well for a sizable discount should you wanna buy one. And back to the experiment. Using the same phone, I killed the battery, then plugged it into either the $75 fast charging 29 watt solution from Apple with their USB-C to lightning cable that also costs money, or the standard 12 watt iPad charger and timed how long it took to charge back up. And we can already see at 15 minutes that the iPad and fast charger are at 21% and 27% respectively. So the fast charger is definitely faster, but not by that much. At 30 minutes, we're at 48% and 41%, so still going pretty fast and again, not that far apart. At 45 minutes, we're at 68% and 59%. At an hour, we're at 81 and 73%. And this pattern basically continues up until about an hour 30, where the gap between the two lessens to about 4%, which means that the iPad charger, for some reason, is doing better at the higher end and not slowing down as much as the fast charger does. By the time the fast charger has given the phone a full charge at an hour and 55 minutes, uh, the iPad charger is already at 98% and it doesn't take it much longer to get to 100 for a total time of two hours and seven minutes. So not really a big difference in charging power, but the price, now that's a gap. The fast charger solution requires a $50 29 watt Apple charger and a separate at least $25 one meter USB-C to lightning cable, bringing the total to about $75. The iPad charger direct from Apple, on the other hand, is $20. And you can actually use the included USB to lightning cable that comes with your phone. You don't need the separate cable. So there you go. Um, you guys be the judge, but uh, personally, I would just go for the iPad charger. Like the cost difference is just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but that's just how I feel about it. Up to you guys. So there is one more option, which is if you can find a third party charger that might be the 29 watt charger that will support this version of fast charging, uh, then obviously if that's cheap enough, that's probably the best way to go because you might be able to find that maybe even cheaper than the iPad charger. Uh, but I am currently in the process of doing a video on that. So stay tuned for that. I'm just got a bunch of these and I'm testing to see which ones work and which ones don't and then seeing which is the cheapest one I can find. So the cheapest way to fast charge your iPhone, uh, coming soon, stay tuned. Uh, if you are curious about that though, feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified whenever it does go live. But if you like this video, regardless, please thumbs up it or share it, it's greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this in general, 
check out the channel and subscribe if that interests you there. And as always, thanks for watching.